With robots moving into increasingly unstructured environments, new challenges arise in perception, localization, motion and task planning, as well as the integration thereof. In this work, we present a mobile manipulation system that we develop to explore the capabilities and limits of the state of the art. The goal is to search, pick up and deliver a target object solely relying on onboard sensors and without instrumentation of the environment. On the hardware side, we employ an ABB Yumi dual arm manipulator mounted on a ClearPath Ridgeback omnidirectional mobile base. Perception data is generated using both a wrist mounted into RealSense RGBD camera and a Skybotics visual inertia sensor, the latter for localization purposes. All computation is carried out on onboard computers. Sparse features shown here in white and yellow are used by Rovioli to localize the robot in a pre-built sparse and globally consistent 3D map, which was built using MapLab. Together with an occupancy grid built using 2D LiDAR measurements, the localization is used by ROS Navigation Stack to perform navigation and obstacle avoidance. In a first stage, the robot follows predefined waypoints while keeping an eye open for the target object. For this, images from the wrist camera shown in the bottom right are processed using a YOLO v3 object detection network. Detections are tracked over frames and once enough observations are available, they are projected into 3D space using the camera poses and triangulated to find the target object's position, a banana in this example. Once we have the target object position, the robot approaches the table. For this, it changes its arm configuration to avoid collisions with the environment. To obtain a dense reconstruction of the tabletop scene required for grasp planning, the wrist-mounted RGBD camera follows a pre-programmed trajectory around the object of interest and the sensor data is integrated over time. For this, we can either use VoxBlox++, a volumetric instance-aware semantic mapping framework, or we can directly accumulate the captured point clouds. The latter option, however, would not allow ambiguously identify the target object in clutter. In this setting, we opt for the point cloud stitching approach due to the limited onboard computational resources. The reconstructed scene is fed to GPD, a sampling-based six degree of freedom grasp detector, which returns a list of scored grasp hypotheses visualized as coordinate systems in the bottom left. Since in this experiment, the banana is out of reach of the robot's left arm used for grasping, the robot adjusts its position and repeats the previous step. Next, the motion planning framework MoveIt is used to plan and execute a grasp trajectory. Finally, the robot sets sail for the predefined drop-off zone to deliver the object. All the steps mentioned until now, that is search, approach, scan and grasp, are designed as self-contained actions and implemented using ROS action servers. A finite state machine with predefined transition conditions is used to call and monitor the actions at runtime. Although the system is able to carry out the desired task successfully, as you just saw, there are a number of limitations that help us inspire future research. Here, we would like to mention two examples. The short baseline of the target observations used for triangulation leads to an inaccurate position estimate. Measures to increase the baseline by leveraging multiple tracks of an object or adding sensing modalities such as depth could improve this. Parts of our pipeline are based on simple heuristics or predefined waypoints. Using a scene-aware full-body planner would allow us to adapt the actions to the situation at hand and, for example, to employ active exploration techniques. An additional benefit would be simultaneous arm and base movement for increased capabilities and efficiency. For a more detailed discussion, please take a look at our paper and don't hesitate to get in touch.